One hen. One hen, two ducks. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pair of Donald Verzel's tweezers. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pair of Donald Verzel's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonians in full battle array. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, Six pair of Donald Verzel's tweezers, 7,000 Macedonians in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises. Six pair of Donald Verzel's tweezers, 7,000 Macedonians in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pair of Donald Verzel's tweezers, 7,000 Macedonians in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth, Ten lyrical, spherical, diabolical denizens of the deep who all stall around the corner of the coal with the key of the quivery at the very same time. So that is the announcer's test. That is the announcer's test as it was created way the hell back in the 1940s and not long thereafter made famous by the abundantly talented Mr. Jerry Lewis. But the abundantly talented Mr. Jerry Lewis, I don't remember if he ever came up with a Canadian version of the, the password, or the announcer's test, or whatever you want to call it. My mom always calls it the password. A lot of other New Yorkers always call it the password. If you want to call it the announcer's test, or always by any other name. Anyway, suppose there was a Canadian version of the announcer's test. Just suppose. Hmm? A. One moose. One moose. Two pucks. One moose. Two pucks. Three Canada geese. One moose. Two pucks. Three Canada geese. Four Laurentian oysters. One moose. Two pucks. Three Canada geese. Four Laurentian oysters. Five corpulent caribou. One moose, two pucks, three Canada geese, four Laurentian oysters, five corpulent caribou, six tapes of Gordon Lightfoot's greatest hits. One moose, two pucks, three Canada geese, four Laurentian oysters, five corpulent caribou, six tapes of Gordon Lightfoot's greatest hits, 7,000 mounted policemen in full dress red surge. One moose, two pucks, three Canada geese, four Laurentian oysters, five corpulent caribou, six tapes of Gordon Lightfoot's greatest hits, 7,000 mounted policemen in full dress red surge, eight brass beavers from the sprawling old growth woods outside of Whitehorse. One moose, two pucks, three Canada geese, four Laurentian oysters, five corpulent caribou, six tapes of Gordon Lightfoot's greatest hits, 7,000 mounted policemen in full dress red surge, eight brass beavers from the sprawling old growth woods outside of Whitehorse, nine apathetic, asynthetic, copacetic hockey players on gold ice skates with a marked propensity towards professional curling and wrestling. One moose, two pucks, three Canada geese, four Laurentian oysters, five corpulent caribou, six tapes of Gordon Lightfoot's greatest hits, 7,000 mounted policemen in full dress red surge, eight brass beavers from the sprawling old growth woods outside of Whitehorse, nine apathetic, asynthetic, copacetic hockey players on gold ice skates with a marked propensity towards professional curling and wrestling, ten miracle spherical parabolical polar bears who all haul poutine around the perimeter of the rim of the rink of the rectory at the very same time. A. Eh?